Good morning, welcome to the Beamish Blogcast, November 2nd, 2015. Certainly hope you and yours had a wonderful weekend. What a wonderful Monday on tap, sunny and warm, 86 your forecast high, and temperatures this afternoon running 6 to 8 degrees above average for this time of year. May see a few clouds during the overnight hours, upper 50s to low 60s, your forecast lows here in Tucson. Not a cloud to be found across the Grand Canyon State, but that will be changing over the next 24 hours. We have a cold front parked off the Pacific Northwest Coast, rain, mountain snow into portions of California and Nevada, and a slice of that heading in our direction. We'll see clouds increase tomorrow, gusty winds out of the southwest up to 30 miles per hour, and possibly seeing a couple of isolated mountain showers developing. A better chance of scattered showers, snow above 7,000 feet late tomorrow night through the first half of Wednesday, and then after lunchtime on Wednesday, showers taper off for much of southern Arizona. So how much rain can we expect with our next storm system? Computer models in agreement with about a tenth of an inch to possibly as much as three tenths of an inch, not as much as what we saw last week, but certainly a little bit of rain does go a long way down here in southern Arizona, and we have a little bit more in the forecast. The other noteworthy change in your forewarn extended is the big time drop in temperatures. We go mid 80s today, mid 60s Wednesday and Thursday, waking up Thursday and Friday morning to temperatures in the mid 40s here in Tucson. That may translate to freezing temperatures in eastern Cochise County, something we'll keep our eyes on, and then a warming trend as we head toward the upcoming weekend. Thanks for logging on. I'll catch you on the TV side today for News 4 Tucson at noon.